checking out Critical Customs. I have a little bit different video for me today. I haven't done an unboxing, but I went ahead and got with Gray Fox over at Sly Fox Tactical. I'll put a link in the description down below so you can check his stuff out. Um, he does custom throwing axes and my brother-in-law out west with Chris and I'll put a link for his channel down below as well. He had ordered a couple one for him and one for his dad for Christmas and my dad's birthday was coming up this month and so I'm trying to correlate this video uploading and dropping just before right when my dad's birthday is but I can't wait I want to open the box and see what it looks like so I contacted Gray Fox on the Battle Box forum and just kinda of gave him a broad picture of what or a broad idea of what I'd wanted. My dad's really into black powder pistols and rifles and told him do something kind of that theme, you know, that black powder feel, that old worn wood, uh, blued or rustic kind of head. And I saw his video because he does a, um, an axe review video every Friday. And from what I hear, his camera doesn't do these axes justice and from what I've seen of Chris's that is true so got the box just came today had to get a recording done literally just walked in the door got the camera going so I'm kind of excited to see so again this one's not for me this is for my dad for his birthday give me just a second to kind of make sure the camera's gonna pick everything up and I'll be right back All right, so I hope everything's in frame so, let's get this open up. And see what he's got. So, this is the first item I've ordered from and actually got in. Threw in some swag, got a cold steel sticker. Apocalypse proof DVD. I'm going to have to check that out. And, wow, did a nice little write-up and took a picture for records on what he had done. Uh, purchased one-of-a-kind Trailhawk from Sly Fox Tactical. Each and every Trailhawk is hand-built and finished, a very particular set of specs. Um, yeah, this is pretty cool. gives you tips on throwing it and stuff like that so that's that's pretty awesome so thank you let's open it up and see what we got oh, I gotta love styrofoam and oh even threw in a little sheath with this one nice wow this is freaking pretty so his counterpart Vixen does phenomenal work with paintbrushes. So he wasn't lying. There's a ton of stains or colors of stain in this handle. It's all kind of molted. I don't know if you can really see that or not. Let me turn it that way. But it has a real old wear on it. Kind of has that look like it's got gunpowder residue worn into the wood. I mean, it's pretty. And then, of course, she did all the filigree work. I hope this is focusing in. And he had made a note, because I'd been DMing him on the Battle Box forum, and it's something that I was aware of, but I'm glad he pointed it out. If you notice on the filigree on this side, it has like a highlight line to kind of give it that more of a three-dimensional, a little more elegant look. On the other side of most black powder rifles, you will have the same design, but it's going to be really flat and real basic. Now, I'm not sure why they did that. I don't know if that's the side that generally wore when it was in the sheet or the holster, but she copied that onto this. So this side's basically one color, and then this side she did the highlight color. 
The head has kind of that old blue steel kind of look. It's got a couple different colors in it. It's got some patina in it. And <laughs> as always, his edges are, they're sharp. They are sharp out of the box. So whatever he does, he does it well. He takes great pride in all his work. Um, you won't find another custom axe, throwing axe, trailhawk, um, like it. And he stands behind his products. I know he has told Out West with Chris, he said it on the videos, if you ever mess him up, contact him and he will be more than happy to help you uh, get it taken care of. They are pretty. A lot of people call them works of art and that's why I kind of gave him, this is what I'm looking for, run with it. Because people like that, when they do this and they're good at it and they're passionate about it, if you let them do their own thing, you're going to get a much better product and it's something you probably would have never thought of. The filigree work is phenomenal. The staining, um, he did, a, almost looks like a dark gray, but it's might be black, uh, paracord wrap just to keep it real clean. Um, awesome work. Great job, Gray Fox. Thank you, Vixen. Phenomenal work as always. Keep it up. You guys do really good work. So if you like this video, please hit the thumbs up. If you've had one or if you're interested in one, please leave comments down below. If you're interested in one, please contact Gray Fox over at Sly Fox Tactical. Check them out. Check out his old videos. They're cool. He's, there's some of the ideas he's come up with are just unreal. Um, check out Out West with Chris. He's got a couple unboxings of some Trailhawks that he's had done as well. And hopefully in the near future, I'll be able to get another one for me this time. So this one, again, is for my dad. Uh, he's, he's done quite a bit for me. So just wanted to give him a thank you. And I think this will do it. Thank you for checking this out. And sorry it's been so long on the video. Kind of had some stuff going on, but some more are in the works.